Except the one guy that we're going to be doing a signing with, uh, along with Morgan Riley, is Ryan Reeves, and he's on the ice still. So it could be a couple of hours before we get going with this, but uh, that's the nature of the beast. Hurry up and wait. We're just kind of showing our fans what the kind of scenes of an autograph signing looks like in here. How did everything go out in the summertime? He's great, busy. Yeah. Yeah. A few weddings? Yeah, a few. We had our own, and then we went out to Kelowna for Kirkwood, and then to Niagara for Mitch's, and then. Uh... Hey, what about uh, where you know it's Middle East? Who else had a wedding out west? Tyson Barry. Tyson, right. In Victoria. I, I didn't, I couldn't go to that one because I was in Italy at the time. So. Right. How'd you like Italy? Loved it. So this is how our autograph sign is Try and move the numbers along quickly so we can take as little time as we can away from the players to get in and out and get the job done. And then we sew all these numbers onto the jerseys after the fact, uh, frame up the photos, or sell them unframed. It usually takes about uh, 15 minutes to a half an hour for a small signing. I'd rather do a few small signings so we can get the more recent photos on a regular basis, and it's not too onerous on the players. Yeah, well, I think he's supposed to, so we'll just do a quick one. Yeah, he was the last of these, which is always the way for us. He's working hard. And that's what happens when we go to sit. He's the last one off the ice. Take your time, you get cramped up. I don't want to be playing for a missed shot. Good chemistry this year. Yeah, it seems like it. It's been really good. Yeah. It's always helps when you get a good start. Well, I see you guys on social media, Ryan and Mitchie and, uh, and Matthews. Yeah. yeah. How was that baseball? Uh, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah, that was really fun. Did you get in the batting cave? You did. Yeah, we did. Uh, did you do fence? No, I got close. Perfect. Well, it was pretty solid. Maybe a couple doubles, and then uh, I think anything beyond that's just bonus. Yeah. And then we did some fielding and stuff, and they pretty much had to kick us off the field. We were having some fun. Uh, we just wanted to stay out a little bit. We done, boys? Yeah. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Much you know. Appreciate it. So you played with Sid in Pittsburgh for a while. I did. I'm heading up there tomorrow to go out and do the West Coast. I wait till they go to the West Coast or Florida, and that's when I do my business trips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell them I say hi. I will. So what's it like in Toronto compared to the other city? Do you like it in here? I do actually. You know, I I uh, didn't know how I was gonna like it here. Not big on traffic in big cities. Yeah, okay. But uh, it hasn't been too bad. <laughs> So is this your first signing for uh, for the Leafs here? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Uh, means we've got quasi exclusive right now so far. We gotta pump the shit out of this stuff and get you back for another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Where's your home? Winnipeg? Vegas. Oh, Vegas. Yeah. Um, your original home. Yeah. yeah. So to my wife. Oh, yeah. So, Where'd where you play your game? Brandon. Oh, Brandon. Two hours away. Might as well be one there. Yeah. I was doing it years ago. I was doing a scientist at the in Chicago. And uh, he got a brand new suit. He was just a young kid at the time, his first year in the league. And he'd sit at a table like this, and I, you know, trying to help him with pens. He didn't know anything. And he just, just went with the paint and oh, yeah. paint all over his new suit. I've done that. Not on a suit, but I'm sure. Wasn't not happy about it. No. You skip it? Yeah. Oh. There for the what jersey? The Justin Bieber jersey? Uh, well, Justin Bieber jersey. What's that? Have you worn that hat? The, the black? Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was uh, in Nashville. So do you get to hit all the favorite restaurants in Toronto now, so Soto and all that, or you don't go around? I've been out uh, three times. I oh, have? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember where I went, but one Italian place. I don't want that. Maybe, maybe it was so good. I did, I get sick of uh, restaurant food. My wife's certainly like a cup. Yeah. My wife wants to cook too, but I have to convince her to order a pizza. Really? <laughs> I wouldn't say my wife loves to cook. She's just she very good with that. Yeah. How many kids you have? Two. Two. The white girl? Well, oh, yeah. That's a good combo. Yeah, he is, yeah. We yeah. were on the sheet yesterday right when I got home. How old is he? He's seven. So, you know, I've been around this business long enough, like uh, doing Wayne Gretzky stuff at the time, watching his son uh, for a while. Yeah. So now, well, Ty's a friend of mine, and I saw Max when he was like that big, right? Yeah. Now I'm watching him play. It blows me away. Yeah, that's weird. That was my wife said, because she's a little bit older than me, she said, uh, it's hard looking at Max because he looks so much like Ty. And uh, she used to be like a big fan of Ty when he was, when she was younger. Say, I used to own a restaurant with like Gilmore across from the Gardens um, back in the speed when we first came to the city. So it was called Verdunis. Oh, uh, what? Bear duties. Bear duties. So they're right in front of what I was doing work in this business for for uh, the leaves. And I pulled out back in the day and we could drive around the city. I used to just park right out in front of the leaf gardens and run in for 45 minutes. And the cops would never give you a ticket because they didn't know who it was, right? They thought it might be someone important that left their car there. So one time I pulled up, looked across the street, and there was a restaurant that was went bankrupt. So my phone dug and Bob McCallum was a radio announcer here. I said, you guys want to get in on a bar? I'll put it together because I used to own bars. And um, he said, sure. So we opened it and it, I said, it's going to be good as long as the guards are in the That was 92, they closed in 99, the, the gardens. And then we sold the restaurant. So it's the end of the bar. It's, it's gone. It's done. Actually, back in those days, Doug Gilmore just came to town. He was the, the big deal. He turned the team around. Uh, nice player. Yeah, he was he was a grinder boy, and he was like God here in Toronto. And, and then I opened my business '92. The Jays won the World Series '92, '93. The Leafs were hot as a pistol, so it was a pretty good time. And the fan radio just started, so it was a good time. Yeah. The bar was right in the arena, right across the street. Yeah. So we even had things like um, when they had a wrestling event, we had all the big wrestlers, the Undertaker, that they did a pre uh, pre party there, and then we had Meatloaf in there one night, you know, because they would just perform across the street, right? So the record companies, of, you know, WWF or E, whatever they called it at the time, would call and say, "Hey, we want to restaurant out." And, yeah, it used to be WWF. But my kids were huge wrestling fans at the time, much more so than hockey. Perfect. Yes. Um, everything's looked at. 